So let's begin our spreadsheet today by entering in some text. We're going to set up a sales summary sheet for our fictional company, PCResale.net. And we're going to enter some data into that summary sheet. Let's begin by entering in a list of our sales reps. We want to be able to track sales by month for each of our sales reps. So let's start off in cell A1 by typing in the word sales rep. Sales rep. Notice the information appears both in the cell, we're in cell A1, and it also appears up here on the formula bar. Now that we've got the word sales rep in there, let's press enter on our keyboard. Notice how that moves us down to the next row. If you're entering information into columns and you want to move down to the next row, you use the enter key. If you're entering information into rows and you want to move across to the next column, use the tab key. Let's go ahead now and enter in the names of our sales reps. We have Chris, enter, Alex, enter, Jan, enter, and Pat, enter. Now I want to enter in their sales data. So I need to get up to the top of the next column, column B. There's a couple ways you can do it. You can either use the keyboard or the mouse. To use the mouse, simply take your mouse and point to cell B1 and then click there one time. That will move the focus or the selected cell up to B1. I'll go ahead now and move back down to A6 by clicking there. You can also use the keyboard. I'll move my mouse out of the way for a second. And just use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Right, up, 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 up. And using the arrow keys, you can move around in your spreadsheet. Taking a trip back through time for a minute to our Windows 101 class, remember that your keyboard probably has a set of arrow keys right here. Those are the ones that you want to use to move around in the Excel spreadsheet. You probably also have a numeric keypad over on the right-hand side over here. Normally, those keys in the keypad are going to act like numbers. In order to make them act like arrows, you have to click on the NumLock key. So keep that in mind as you're using your keyboard. Okay, so now that we're sitting in B1, Let's go ahead and enter in the headers for our top row. We want to do sales by month, so I'll type in January, and then press tab, and then February, and I'm just abbreviating, tab, March, tab, and April. Let's say that we only have sales data for the first four months of 2002 right now. We'll do more later. Notice how I pressed tab after each one of those cells. That will move me right one column. Now let's go ahead and fill in some sales data. Let's click here in cell B2 and just type in some numbers. Let's go 89 and 50 and 30 and 12. And we'll use our arrow keys to move up to the top of the next column and enter in some data. Notice how that numbers are lining up on the right side of the cell, where the labels above them, the month names, lined up to the left. We'll show you how to correct that in a few minutes. But go ahead now and enter in some sales data. Again, the numbers themselves are irrelevant. You can put any numbers that you want in there.